I used to be a nightmare to my parents, and I used to hurt people around me. I was living a life that was on a very destructive path. But by the grace of God, I stand here today. He saved me through Jesus. I grew up in Cameroon, and as a little boy, I knew about God. I knew about Jesus, but I thought that Jesus was somebody that God had made a perfect example of the kind of life we are supposed to live. But my whole worldview was shaped by African traditional religion. And I went to witch doctors when I had challenges. And as a little boy, I was getting into one trouble after another. And it became very difficult for me, for my parents to leave me in the school I was studying, and even in the same town. And so by age 11, I had to leave town. And by age 13, I was on my own in another city going to school, made my own decisions, came home when I wanted, hung, in, hung out with people that I wanted to hang out with, and the choices I used to make were not very good choices. And my choices led me from one trouble to another. I ended up in prison. In that prison, I was chained to another guy. And my parents came to visit me in that prison. And when they looked at me, they started to cry. My heart was so broken because it was not just my mom crying, my dad was also crying. I realized I was causing a lot of pain. I wanted to change, but I didn't know how to change. That night, I went back into the prison. Our prison was like half of the size of this hall. And everybody, all the prisoners stayed in the same room. And my bed was a mat next to the wall. And the guy I was chained to was very sick and I needed to help him to be comfortable. He wanted to sleep. So I cleaned the lies on the wall, the bed box that were on the wall, to lean on the wall and to put my hand over him so he would be a bit comfortable. When I did that and I leaned on that wall, that's when I saw something really surprising, shocking to me. There was another prisoner in that room who had killed a lady. And I said, look, this guy was sitting in his bed somewhere in the middle of the hall where we were, the prison room, and he was reading a Gideon's Bible. And my shock was, I had no hope for my own life. And this guy has killed somebody, and why is he even touching God's book? And so I was looking at him, I was asking myself, I said, I was telling myself, this guy is wasting his time. But he read on through the night as people, everybody slept, he kept reading. And I leaned back on that wall and I watched him reading. As he was reading, I was getting convicted. And I thought to myself, if this guy has hope that God can help him, what about me? I was so desperate. I didn't want to spend my life in that place. At some point during that night, I asked him, I said, please, would you give me your Bible? I'd like to read it too. So he came over to me and handed me that Bible. And I started to read the Bible and I started to cry. I was crying to God and I told God, if you take me out of this place, I want to live my life for you. In the morning, I'd forgotten about my prayer. And later that day, some, some prison workers came in, some uh, warders, prison guards, came and opened the prison door and called me out and said, hey, who is Effie Walters? Can you come? So I came, and they took off the chains from my hands and took me to the office and signed papers to release me. And I thought it was a mistake. And I walked away from that prison, and I was ready to run away in case somebody told me to come back. And the gap kept growing, growing. It was real. I knew it was God. 
Later that night, I went to a field. I knelt down and I told God, thank you. I know it's you. You took me out of that place. And I want to live my life for you. I want to follow you. And God gave me his peace. I am so grateful for all of you who work collectively to place that Bible in that prison. God gave me hope. God took away the chains that tied me into the kingdom of darkness. And he set me free. He's working in my life and he's working through me today. And I give him all the glory and I say thank you for your dedicated and passionate service for his kingdom. God bless you.